Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There is a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants, for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Bolshoi. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no! I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests the well-fed. But my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art. For thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But sadly, true art is 20 years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Ah, so there are still men, not just marionettes. I disgust myself. Here we sit, in the drinks, and party lights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. Death and decay. That's exactly why we need theater. A drink and a show warms your body and soul. Without that, ah, we may as well end it all. Feast in the time of plague. So, when does our guest arrive? The masked one with the scythe. Any minute now. So drink up. Cheers. That is a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeonovna. Is it something new? No, as if mushrooms with mushroom sauce. Hey, keep your hands out of the pot, or you're getting smacked in the head. Sorry. Gotcha. Sorry. Why? What happened? Vitya didn't make it. How? We were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. No one suffered the scratch, but Vidya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. And you, you left him there to die! No, Katya, we tried to save him, but it was too late. No, Vidya! We buried him there, the wood place. We put white stones on the grave. Don't lose your chance! Give yourselves a My papa is yeah. a sculptor! Show he made me know. one of those dogs! Hey, there are only so many tickets! Wow! That's a demon! So scary, just like the a real demon. thing! A demon! Look at it flap he its yeah. wings! It's attacking! No, Dad says it flaps its wings like this when taking off. And my dad saw lots of demons. We're right, Uncle Misha, this is a demon? Well, it's... All right, let it be a demon. But there used to be birds like this. Birds? Are they mean like demons? No. They were beautiful. Some were big, but smaller than demons. Birds didn't attack people. They would wake you in the morning with their songs. Now, what animal is this one? Could it be a Nosalis? The nose is too big, though. Surge, did your dad tell you about beasts like that? No, and he was everywhere. Even the library. Even the park. He saw a bear once. <gasps> Is this a bear, Uncle Misha? It's an elephant. You saw them in the Were elephants scary? Could the Nosaluses be what's left of them? The elephants, oh, they were large. But they never attacked first. Only when they were provoked. 
But if they got mad, they could stop you. That's just like a Norsalis. Dad says if a big Norsalis starts running, she stomps everything in their path. She'll even stomp her own kids. Well, they could be related. They had elephants at the zoo after all. Though they definitely are smaller now if they are the Norsalises. And what kind of bird is this? That's the swan. Look at its long neck. I know that bird. It was in a book, and Mama has a picture of it with those numbers in the corner. She has it hanging on the wall. At least now, that is a swan. And why are you boys keeping silent? You saw the book and saw the calendar at Aunt Thomas? I thought it was some kind of mutant. Me too. It does look like the picture in the book, but this one was moving. Look, boys. Try imagining that there's still... Well... All right. Who is this? This is definitely a spider bug. Look at its mandibles. Oh, isn't it? No, threads? no, it's a goat. Just like on that picture. Are those it's horns poison? It's it scary. You with those? <gasps> Does it hate light Mama too? says it butts you with these. I'm so afraid of goats. Goats are worse than spider bugs. They aren't afraid of light. You know, Katya, that really is a goat. But it's not scary at all. And it won't butt you for no reason. Anyway, it's a really useful animal. Their milk is so tasty. Ruz. <laughs> Uncle Misha, Katya is the only one who knows these strange animals. Show us something we know too, or it's not fair. Yeah, show something we know. All right, you'll recognize this one. Who's first? Me, me. It's a worker. Look at its snap, it's That's a lurker for sure. Hurry, there are only so many tickets. 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 Hurry, there are only so and it took so long to say that. Throwing up. knives! Oh, well. Silent Good and deadly! Readings. At least I had some fun at the end. What? You give up already? Shit. We can still make it to stalkers, instead of mere aides. Look, I got money for three days. So drinks are on me! Grenades! Affordable and serious firepower! Sorry, children. My I used to Kyle know how to show those animals. I can't believe it. <laughs> Let me take a rest. Tomorrow. <laughs> Mom says him. when he comes back, if I be But how? he's not coming back until so later. Huh. So it's not going to be soon? Let's go to Natasha's then and play with her doll for now. Let's go! What should I have said? I don't know. Truth? Who can live with truth like that? His commander said there was nothing left to bury. He begged forgiveness for letting him die. Sorry. 
What are you going to do now? I don't know. How can I go on like this? One of the measures had a thing for me. And all the shots She told me all about the slingers, about the racial strategies, free communication. You can drink anywhere. This is a theater. Anything goes. But hey, I won't twist your arm. Just don't come back in 10 minutes. Then you change your mind. It all began. Wait a minute, I gotta think. Think faster. Look, there is another twist there. If you don't buy this, he's sure to. Show me your tickets. Alright, alright, I'm taking it. Did you hear Oh, <laughs> sure. Uh, oh, Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Maestro, if you'd be so kind. The can can. this before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race part of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. <laughs> Stupid freak! Allez! Where are you? Get back! Where? You dumb freak! I'm Another going to kill you! Another most impressive victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. 
Fearsome beast, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> when they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on! It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music, the famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bar. A round of applause, please! My soul will never sound the same. Your music has touched strings with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today, our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Mind-blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charmed. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo, the favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Victor Minchuk with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> Thank you. 
this ecstasy and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> But, never fear, we have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, The Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> innovation of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarny. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet song. Artyom! No? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on, you patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorovich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Helen, no, что? I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, ты сюда губу. Жанна, let me use your power. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Artyom? No, he's alive. Artyom? Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Oh, you should just marry him. He won't propose. He's too cheap for that, too. Fool. We're just testing our love. Yeah, yeah. And in the meantime, he made you some powder by scratching the ceiling. At least I have a man of my own, instead of selling myself at the bar. You'd do it too if anyone would buy. Girls, enough quarreling. The prompt belt's going to go off soon. So what? I'm not going on stage with her. You better. You've nowhere else to go since the freak show left the station. You bitch. Knock it off, no fighting here, or on stage! Okay, let's let it go. No, it's not okay! What, should I go Petrovna? No, please don't. Then finish your makeup, it's our call soon. Refugees again. More refugees. What's going on? What else? Another war. Looks like the fucking commies are going to fight the Reich again. Shit. Is war all they know? Instead of wasting ammo on each other, they could be wiping out the vermin. They don't give a shit about that. The Nostalis has butchered my father. Who cares? No one. So how are we supposed to live? Or raise our children? If the monsters don't kill them, other men will. This is what I'm saying. Why go on? Stay yesterday. Why can't it just end?
Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive. Huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are, Dover Special from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So, let's drink, Artyom. There you are. Phew, ah. Хорошо пришла. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Here it is. Wow! So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other. Sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Order, order, is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Блин. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Hey, stop that, blah! It's just being over-enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Here? What about Comrade Corbin? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. Information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay. But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, Artyom. Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence! He's Nitsky. You're one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. 
His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found D6 together. He's also earned several commendations since official enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the evil doctor in probing and cutting the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. But, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunium must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> Nothing, huh? <laughs> hey, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug. God damn it! Alright. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastards. And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son! Oh. I must agree with Leon. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom! Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents! Good luck to you! 
Titan, sit down, Corbin. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans! The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right?! I'm... Moscovin. When you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the Politburo. Frontal assault is hopeless, but if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned ducts? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck, then. Surrender! Line! 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 Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target.
Ah, quit shaking. The manual says it's the red wire. So that's the one you cut. You cut it yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Piss your pants already? <laughs> then watch a real man. Well, if you're a real man, why are your hands shaking? Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shakes. Okay. Composed. Composed. <sighs> The red wire. The red wire. Come on! Don't rush me. How long is it gonna take? Almost there. Hey! Make up your minds already. First you order a patrol, then you expect me to sit here. Control the premises. Me alone? Come on, get to work, all of you. Yes, sir. Ivan, stay. Did you take care of the rats? I want them all burnt. Commander, we're not Nazis. Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean? People? Shooting? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They've multiplied like crazy. So you go, and do it! On the double! Yes, sir. What the... Seems like... someone... Oh, then you let it back! Receive the new weapon. Now you're gonna get some! Yeah. Fucking grass.
assign you all some tasks. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what happened, Andrei? Construction's in a crunch mode. They're short on hands, so they're putting us on this. Huh. I see. Well, since you do, go on and give those two idlers something to do. Yes, sir. Find something to do yourself, too. last month. I'm talking last week. Oh, now I understand why they're going on about safety like that. That's my line. Who's gonna work if everyone is out of commission? Well, yes. I wish they'd fix that damn radio or something. Makes me uneasy, you know? I know the place. I served there for a short time. Well, last year there was one hell of an incident. The guys said that when they came to relieve the watch, all the sentries on our side of the breach were dead. So the lieutenant sent some scouts to the Nazi post on the other end. They returned and said it was the same shit there. The boots were stained red. Like they'd been through a river of blood. Who could have killed so many men? Whatever it was. It wasn't human. Might have been a creature some called the Dark Rail Tracer. One of the guys supposedly made him mad by taking a nut off on a rail junction. This is ridiculous. If it wasn't the Rail Tracer, the story is even crazier. Must have been a Hansa or Police Task Force. How could a task force that size get there undetected? Now, one guy that's possible. I heard of a traitor who smuggled a spy of some kind to the front line through the smithy in a rail car undercarriage. But 30 guys? Ah, that's too complex. We'll never know. But somehow, it happened. They've tripled the guards at the bridge since then. Which reminds me, you should take a walk around the barracks, so that nobody sneaks up on us here. Should I just print the rest? Uh, but they'll smell it at shift change. Anyway, less than an hour left.
Mm. Fuck. No sleeping. No sleeping, I say. Hey you, down there! Watch out for your head! Okay. The shit already stored to capacity. This keeps up, we'll be glowing like stalkers. Shut up, it's our job. Just be happy they don't make you collect this crap on the surface. Nothing. Are there going to be any more deliveries today? Well, that was the last one. Oh, great. Well, this place was... Well, don't think you want. You know what happens to those who fail to get next to the Alright! This is 
Standard. Four red. Nominal. Great job there. Let's move to the second. One moment. No sleeping. No sleeping, I see. Settle is dead. Normal. Methanol output at the separator. Okay, Lata. Low red. All right. Heat exchange of temperature. Hey, okay. See, this is gas pressure. Standard. Compressor speed. No. Nominal. Great, got that. To the third. Who's scared of the fucking rain, huh? <laughs> what are those about? 